Hello, NZ family, and welcome back to the NZ Bros. I'm Sir Zach Slip. You can call me Zach, and we are back with another exciting edition of Subnautica. And we got a radio signal again. Playing partially translated broadcast. Help. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. <laughs> well, that just happened. Alright, um, did some research on the jail sacks. Finally got the name, jail sacks, that we're looking for. I was right. It is in the blood kelp zone, the bulb zone, the grand reef, and even the mushroom forest. <laughs> I was just too scared to look in certain areas, so... We're gonna start off this episode by collecting a few blood bite blood. Oh my goodness. Gel sacks. First let's look in the mushroom forest. Let's see, grassy plateaus. Okay, and then up to the safe shallows. There we go. Okay, see where the aurora is and then we go this way. <coughs> oh. Sorry, stalker, didn't mean to disturb your lunch. Let's see. <coughs> ah. Should be. Should be reaching the mush- ow! Should be reaching the mushroom forest that's next to the crush zone. And there it is. Okay, first place to find the gel sacks would probably be here if you want to go the safe way. Man, I was just taking a risk and going down the dangerous areas. Alright, lights on. And let's see if we can find some gel sacks. Anyway, they weren't the places that I was looking at. I was just very, very unlucky this time. Oh, whoa, whoa. And then almost getting devoured by a ghost leviathan to top it off. Hang on a second. No, that's not it. Don't want to hit these guys either. We will work on the prawn suit soon enough. Right now, I'm just trying to clear my conscience and try to find the gel sacks. Well, then again, we have no choice but to find the gel sacks, otherwise, we can't build the prawn suit. Huh. Man, I was lucky with the. Cyclops parts, but very unlucky with the gel sacks. My goodness, where are all the gel sacks? Ow! There's a bunch of copper right there if I come by. Ah, come by here with the prawn suit. Ah, well. Hang on. There is another mushroom forest. Close, it's the one closest to the dunes. I grab that. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Make sure I don't have to scan that. Alright. Ow. Okay, we're probably gonna have to check the other one. Okay, so if this is the... Hang on. So if this is the mushroom forest, I'm checking my map. <coughs> We need to go... Hold on, if this is the mushroom forest and that's the kelp forest, that means we gotta go that way. Really helps to have a map. No, I don't want a map in-game. That would make no sense to have a map in-game. Okay, lights off. 
Hmm. Ah, what did what 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 am I hitting? Ah, aside from myself. Okay, crossing the cup forest, and then after we cross it, there should be a grassy plateau. And then after that grassy plateau, should be the other mushroom forest. Don't worry. Stalkers, they ain't so scary. To some people they are, but to me, eh, they're not scary. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Grassy plateau, then we go this way. That ghost leviathan in the last episode really scared me. Oh, I thought that one died. I was thinking, what? A lot of wreckage right here. Ah, I keep running into fish. Ah, what a waste of fish. Okay, any minute now I should be reaching the mushroom forest. Definitely not that way. Oh, there's the wreckage Sally picked up on. Okay. Hopefully. Wait. Ah, no. It's close, though, but not what I'm looking for. Ah, didn't mean, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Somewhere around here should be the... Oh, I think somewhere right here was where I was. Oh, go, 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 go. that's where I was that where I accidentally attracted a ghost uh, leviathan and uh. <laughs> Uh, almost doomed the environment in this game. It was just eating everything, it was eating all the fish, it was harassing me and everything else. I was like, I gotta look up how to get rid of these things. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Lights back on. Okay, uh, this is a good sign. Ah, stop it. It's a good place to find lithium, by the way. Short on lithium. Try your luck and try the mushroom forest that happens to be next to the dunes. And the northern blood cup zone. careful around here. Man, where is the gel sacks? Wait. Ah, that's not it. It looks like brain coral. That's the best I can describe it. I don't like that sound. How big is this forest? That's the edge of it. Always take a look around because you never know what could be around. I know there's official places where the uh, Leviathans um, spawn. Ow. Man, my luck with this one is just not cutting it for me. Ooh, I forgot I had that. I need to put a second trunk on this thing. It looks kind of uneven. I'm used to it being on the side, but now it's on the top. <laughs> Gotta fix that one. And we 
got another radio sig signal. Oh, I get so scared of this area. Also because we are literally, literally right next to the dunes and ah! It's okay, that was my fault. I'm not even hitting these mushroom things. How am I hitting them? Passing 200 meters. I'm not even touching them. How am I hitting them? No, no, no. Get in. Well. Well, according to the map that I got here, um, there is a cave somewhere within this mushroom forest. Well, not really a cave, more like um, more like an opening. Here, let's take a risk and get up here for a bit. I don't know if we can quit crashing into some other places. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Is that it? It'd be horrible if I got the Seamoth stuck in this place. I keep hearing faint roaring, like... <sighs> There's Life Pod 13. Second. Hit our bearings for a second. I think I got us lost. Okay, there's the way back. Okay, so. Where's the crush zone? Whoa, we're far away. Okay. So directly below me should be a cave of some kind. My goodness, where are all the... Am I just that unlucky right now? I can't find the stupid gel sacks. Huh. This is terrible. Ah, there it is. Let's see. Just trying not to get stuck. Ooh. Another one of those things. Huh. Well, we discovered that by accident, even though that wasn't one of the original plans to search. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, easy, easy. Don't get stuck. Do not get stuck. Seriously, where are all the plants in this place? Especially the 
Jill Sex. Fifteen minutes in, and we still haven't found a single Jill Sex. Unbelievable. According to my notes, they are su they're supposed to spawn here somewhere. <sighs> well, I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna quit the recording right there and only hit the record button as soon as I find one. Because. This is, this is getting tedious. This is getting a little frustrating. Well, and also my sea moth. I don't know how much more I can take. Well, I guess I'll head on back to the safe shells and uh, get my bearings back in again and we'll see what happens. Well, hold on. Just thinking stuff over. I'm surprised I didn't find one. It's just why. It's just why. Well, we can check the Grand Reef. They do spawn there for sure. I was just very unlucky when searching. One second, I need water. I don't have any water. Well, I guess I'm gonna do some fishing. And, uh, go off camera for a little bit. So, I'll be right back. Woo! Narration Zach back at it again. Only because for this part, I forgot to turn on the microphone for the iPad. Oh well, as you can see here, tried Grand Reef again, and lo and behold, look what we got here. Ah. <sighs> The stupid gel sacks. Or gel sack, singular. Uh, all that trouble, all that trouble, and there it is. Three episodes. First episode, me just looking around on a wild goose chase, getting the wrong thing. Second episode, not finding anything, and in this one, there it is. There I am collecting uh, plant samples, by the way. So that way you can grow your own gel sacks. So you don't have to come back here to the Grand Reef ever again. Ah, because this place, it's scary, Enzy family. Well, it, it's, it's beautiful in its own way. I, I do like Grand Reef, the way it looks. It's just, the one thing that scares me about this place is the fact that there are two ghost leviathans patrolling the area. Two. Not one, two. It's also a good place to find rubies and lots of quartz, by the way, especially that big chunk a while ago. <sighs> also plenty of stuff to scan too, by the way. There's another gel sack. Uh, I, I just feel stupid, Enzy family. Uh, like, like, really stupid. But at the end of the day, such a relief to have finally found those. Even the anchor pods in this uh, area are strange. And I guess that's the one thing I do like about Subnautica. It's both familiar, ocean-wise, it's both familiar to see, and yet at the same time, alien, when you start getting into the more alien-looking plants. Especially the blood kelp zone, that place is just completely alien. Kelp forest, pretty much based on kelp plants that we got. Safe shallows, pretty much based on the coral reefs that we've got in real life. 
But places like the Grand Reef, the Bulb Zone, the Cup, Blood Cup Zone, just completely alien. Just, just the way they look. Still collecting a bunch of the rubies. Trust me, you're gonna need those. And back up I go. Anyway, that's it for narration Zek here and what we got to see here. Going back to the official video in three, two, ready, and one. Uh, okay. Got the materials for the area jail. We're growing them right now, so we don't have to go back there again. What we're gonna need next is lots and lots of rubies. So far, we only got three. One of them I already used to make a area. Oh, hang on. One of them I already used to make area gel. All the stuff and everything that we're gonna need for the prawn suit and the cyclops are gonna be put right here. Let's see, it says on my notes we need two lead for the prawn suit and three lead for the cyclops. So let's see, how much lead do we have? One, two, three, four, we need one more. We need one more piece of lead. One, two, that's for the prawn suit. One, two, we need one more, sadly. Uh, let me see, enameled glass. How do you make enamel glass again? I know you need the stalker tooth. And regular glass, okay. Uh, I think I put it under... No, I didn't. Nope. <laughs> Batteries, oh my goodness. There we go. Enamel glass. Uh, so that's one for the prawn suit. One, two, three for the cyclops. Okay. Let's see, I know I have crystals in here. Not much. Uh, let's go and turn our titanium or our scraps into titanium right quick while we're at it. And we're gonna need plenty of these. Okay, let's go ahead and turn those into. Or hang on, hang on, one thing at a time. Uh, let's see, one for the prawn suit. Let's go get some quartz real quick. I know, I know, I could go back and get all the quartz I'm looking for and everything in that one spooky place. But uh, I'm kind of spooked out right now, so I'll, I'll go back there later on. Let's see. Besides, this place is a good place to get some quartz. Okay, one. Wait, how much do we have right now? Okay, enough for one. I need four more. So, one. Could use the salt. Okay, going off course. Two. Alright, let's go back. Decreased. I don't worry, we got a really good tank. However, we still got a real close call one time. Oh my goodness, they still haven't fixed that. Okay, if that ever happens to your uh, habitat, yeah, just kind of float next to it and they'll just pop into existence. I think these are full grown. Nope. 70% or 78% they're almost done okay let's make some glass glass for the cyclops all right cool uh, there you go let's see so that's one for the Titan uh, Titan that's what I do plan to call the prawn suit later on and three for the cyclops okay 
Next, uh, two diamonds for the prawn suit. Okay, let's see. Thankfully, we got plenty of diamonds from that mushroom cave. Okay, just making sure. Okay, I'm reading my notes. Alright, let's see, how do you make plasteel? Lithium, we're gonna need lots and lots of lithium. Okay, um, luckily we do have lithium, so we can just go ahead and do this. With that, we have the materials needed to make a prawn suit. Oh, no, wait, no, we don't. No, we don't. Sorry. No, we don't. Not yet. Hang on. Hmm. Let me take that just in case, because we're going to need it. Let's see what the radio signal says now. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna need more titanium, and we're gonna need more lithium. Luckily, I know where to get more titanium. Let me double check the trunk right quick. Nothing. Okay. Luckily, I know where to get more titanium and where to get more lithium. All systems online. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Oh, almost full grown. Alright, one second, let me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Eat something before I leave. Oh, that scared me. I gotta get rid of that shark. Bad neighbors. Let's see. Did I not put in four? Huh, I guess I didn't. That's how it happened. Hang on. There we go. Nope, out of space. Oh, I put it here. There we go. Good source of water. Alright. Alright, let's go get some titanium right quick. And then we'll end off this episode getting some lithium. Well, hold on. We'll get some lith we'll get some titanium. Then we'll get some lithium. And then we'll at long last make. Well, actually, we don't necessarily have to get the lithium not until we're ready for the cyclops. For now, let's focus on the prawn suit. Okay, the prawn suit, for those who don't know, is pretty much a mech suit. It is one of the most essential vehicles in this game. Because one, you can use it to. Explore places the Seamoth will not take you to. Especially in the end game area. Ouch. Two, you can use the prawn suit if you upgrade it to have a uh, drill uh, arm. Let me go ahead and take that too. Use it to mine uh, nodes or big, huge deposits or whatever. How much do we have now? Two. Well, three actually. Let's see if we can get ourselves one more. So for the next few episodes and even some off-camera work, I'm gonna see if I can focus on getting the prawn suit ready. Ouch. And then once we get the prawn suit where we need it to be. Then we'll focus on the Cyclops. 
which will be the last thing to work on before we reach the end game areas. Hang on. I don't want to wonder where I shouldn't be wondering. bit of scrap. Let's see. Oh, and we do need lubricant, so let me go ahead and grab one of these real quick. There we go. Turn that into lubricant. Turn those ingots, or turn that into a titanium ingot. Or ingots, from the looks of it. <laughs> turn that into plasteel. And with that, we should have. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. I need one more aerial gel. Before we do this, let me organize a bit. Or in the words of Paul the Soares Jr., organize. Put the extra glass right here. Okay, let's take a look at what we got so far. Okay, we need two plasti steel. Plasti steel. Th that rolls off the tongue better. I know it's probably something else entirely. Two aerial gel. One enameled glass, two diamonds, and two lead. Okay, where did I put the vehicle deployer? There it is. Last thing I want to do before I close this episode, and that's build the prawn suit. Probably build a motor pull for it, off camera at least. Now we can stay on shark video wise. Alright, here we go, NZ family. Three, two, one. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self discipline. Hey, oh, wait. the prawn suit. <laughs> Let's get it up here. There we go. Look at that. We've got our own prawn suit. Only we're not gonna call it the prawn suit. Let's see. We're gonna call it... The... 
Ooh, yikes. Another quick disclaimer. I've been calling this thing the Titan long before I found out about an actual ocean submarine in particular that is also named that. Yikes. Sorry about that, NZ family. But yeah, just a quick disclaimer about that. Uh, I guess from this moment on, I guess this thing can be named in memory of that from now on and those who unfortunately uh, perished in that. Uh. In memory of those who died in this submarine, NZ family. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to see if we can get this thing upgraded and where it needs to be. Until then, that's it for this edition of NZ Bros Subnautica. My NZ family. See you all next time, after I finish doing the off-camera work, getting it ready. Mm, really, the only thing I'm going to do off-camera is probably collect some more titanium and some lithium, which is pro- Ah, hold on. Some more lithium, which is in that uh, mushroom cave down there. And probably see if I can get more aerogel. Till then, Enzy family, to be continued.